morning guys, well, why do I always do that? Why do I always go, morning guys? Anyway, morning guys, it is morning because due to all the computer systems closing down, tomorrow at lunchtime we have to watch it in the morning. So, Khuyamara, good morgen, namaste, konnichiwa, jen dobre. Good morning to everyone. Hope you're all well. I hope you've had a good week. It's been such a busy week. I actually can't believe I'm now recording yet another assembly. The weeks just go like that. Like that. Yep, I hear you. Like that. So today we have quite a short assembly actually. Um, because I've got a video of the presentation of the new house captains. So you'll get to meet all your new house captains today. We are also going to do our stars of the week. We're going to do our picture gallery of shout outs. And I've also got a couple of wee things that I need to have a bit of a moan about. But assembly wouldn't be assembly without me moaning, would it? No, exactly. So, stay tuned. Stay awake. Stay alert. Oh, I meant to say. The guesses of the Happy Heart chart last week, one person in the whole school had it exactly right. 85 names on the Happy Heart chart last week, and the person who had it right was Lewis in primary 5B. So, round of applause for you, Lewis. Well done. Okay, stay tuned, and we'll see what is happening next. So playtime today when we were outside playing, I don't know if some of you noticed, but I videoed it because we had a Spitfire aeroplane fly very, very close to the school. Now this Spitfire has been flying all over the UK today and there's a very, very special reason. It's because this is the 80th anniversary of the Battle of Britain, which was one of the major battles um, early on in World War II. Two. So the Spitfire was one of the planes that was actually used in that battle, um, which we actually won as part of the protection of Great Britain in World War II. Had we not won that battle, I think things could have been an awful lot different and the Germans would have had a better chance of winning the war. So the Spitfire has flown all over the United Kingdom today and we were lucky enough at break time to see it flying very very close. I, I I videoed it so if you look very closely you'll see it in the next little clip. Look it's coming! Look! So Spitfire from World War II Yep. <laughs> Miss B's shout out.
annual prize giving, where our outgoing House captains and Vice Captains would come up and we would present our new badges to our new captains and Vice Captains. However, just like everything else, we have been badly affected here by COVID. So we have had to do that very differently. It does the troubles. We have still had our application forms and our interviews, and now we're going to do our presentation. But we're going to do it here in the school just with you and your family seven. I have spoken to all the heads of house, and I am one myself, and we have all agreed that this year we have had more applications than any other year. So it's been an extremely tough job for your heads of house, not just to read all the applications, but to everyone who applied for an interview. And that meant a lot of time when we had to interview all of you and decide who was the outstanding candidate. And that was the hardest part. Not the interviews, the interviews were great fun. We loved chatting with you, um, talking about your application, what you think about your house captain. The hardest part was afterwards when we had to sit down and say, who do you think this person is? Or what about this person? Okay, so it's a long, hard job for your heads of house. But I thank them all for the hard work and giving up their time to do this. Because we've had so many outstanding applicants this year, and because things are a little bit different under COVID rules, usually we would have a pupil council that runs part of the citizenship groups. That means that all the boys and girls in school get a chance to put their ideas forward, and you can act on those ideas as a school staff and implement some of the things you like. However, because of COVID, we're not allowed to mix our classes, we can't have a pupil council so we thought it might be a good idea to give a little reward to some of our outstanding candidates who never quite made it to the role of house captain or vice captain. So we have created a new role called the Pupil Voice Champion. Now basically there's four of them, one from each house, and they will kind of carry on the role of the Pupil Council. And then they will listen to other people in the school, boys and girls, and they'll put their ideas forward to Ms. McFarlane, Mrs. Emmett, myself, Mrs. Clark, and all the other teachers as well. So that will be their job this year. They're kind of like a mini pupil council, and they'll get invited along to important meetings with the management and also hopefully get in touch with them. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to introduce you to all three positions for each house. Now we'll go from we'll go down up. So we'll start with pupil voice champions, then we'll do our vice captain, and then we'll do our now, because of COVID, you won't be pinning the badge on you guys, you'll have to take it away with you and do it yourself when you're back to class. Okay? So, the first house at Arthrick and the first people voice champion of Arthrick is, if you remember, Ben McCallum. Join us 
Actually, hot off the press, breaking news, it's all happening here at Downfield. It's not that exciting. I just had a chat with Mrs Emmett there and what we think is going to happen for lunches after the holidays is that it will still be your lunch in a bag but you'll actually get a hot lunch. So if it's pasta, it would be hot pasta. Now, who was it that asked me this week about... oh? Ebony, that'll please you because you were moaning about the pasta being cold earlier in the week. So, that's what's going to happen. Primary 1s to 3s are still going to eat their lunch in their classrooms. But at the moment, Mrs and Emma and I are working out a plan as to how we can get the kids in primary 4 to 7, all the upper corridor kids, down into the assembly hall so they can have their hot lunch down in the assembly hall. So... We'll keep you informed, we'll let you know when it's it's happening and what the plan is going to be. But it'll be more rules that you have to follow. Like, you need to go in this door, you need to leave that door. You need to sit at the table beside your classmates, you're not allowed to sit beside your friends. So, yeah, it's going to be a whole host of other things, but we will absolutely keep you up to date with what is happening. So, uh, yeah, hot lunches after October holiday, which is good, because it means that in the colder weather you're going to get something cosy at lunchtime. And also, I think um, if everything goes according to plan and we don't need to go into lockdown or anything, um, Mr J, after the holidays, will be allowed to do gym, either in the assembly hall or in the gym hall. Might look a bit different to what your gym might usually look like, but um, there is that potential. So, bit of good news. Hot lunches and gym indoors. How good is that? <gasps> yeah. Exactly. Enjoy. Moan time. So, moan number one. Numero uno. Classrooms at lunchtime. <sighs> Man. Number one. You don't wonder about. Number two. You put your rubbish in the bin. Number three, you stay in your seat. Number four, you do not move until the adult tells you to and that's because of the whole cleaning of the table thing, as in, okay, you're allowed to move, but you don't move and start lining up at the door until the adult in that area tells you to do so. Number five, You move once the tables are wiped and everything's put away and there's no rubbish on the floor. Yeah, no rubbish on the floor. You got that? Yeah, okay. So... Please remember all these points when you're having your lunch in the classroom. I get 
that it's not any fun. I get you would rather be in the assembly hall sitting with your friends, but at the moment we just can't do that because it's not safe. And until the council tell us you can go and eat your lunch in the assembly hall, then you'll be in your classrooms following those five rules. Thank you. Good news time. We actually did have a bit of good news today um, and we had a visit from some of our previous Primary 7 pupils and that was because, you know the way every year Mr Silva does the Rotary Lighting Competition? Well, for last year's Primary 7 there were two of the girls in Primary 7 who did brilliantly. Not only did they win their local competition for their age group, they also got a prize in the district. They came third in the district. Now, when I say the district, it's not just Dundee. It's Dundee, Angus, Perth, that whole area. So imagine that. You've done such a good piece of writing that you come third in the whole of the district. So Melissa Bosch and Phoebe Cartwright, they won those awards for the writing last year. And they came into the school today and we did a wee presentation out in the front um, of the school building and they got a bunch of flowers and they got their gift tokens and I think between them, I think they've got over a hundred pounds each on book tokens. That's amazing. So Mr Silva, I think is going to be doing that again this year. If you're interested in doing the piece of writing for the Rotary Club, speak to Mr Silva and she can give you all the information. Absolutely brilliant. Well done. Really, really proud of the girls for doing that. And here you'll see a wee photo of them with their certificates and their flowers. Welcome to Mrs Halle Burton. She does what Mrs Calder used to do in the office. So if you pop by, make sure to say hello. Welcome to you. Stars of the week. And our first star of the week this week is Hallie in P1C for always trying her best and showing kindness and respect. Well done, Hallie. Next, we have Kevin Z in P3S for always being kind and helpful. Kevin, that's brilliant. Well done. Back to primary one and it's Abby in P1C for a positive attitude in ICT this week. So that one's from Mr. Solomon. Well done, Abby. Connor, another one from Mr. Solomon is Connor in P4B for a good effort in ICT this week. Well done, Connor. Hayley in P5H for always being ready to learn. That is brilliant because being ready is absolutely one of our school rules. Well done, Hayley. Lewis in P7C for a good effort with Microsoft Teams this week. Well done, Lewis. That's absolutely brilliant. Mr. Solomon's doing a great job teaching everyone how to use Teams. Anissa in Primary 6S for always being kind and helpful. Anissa, that is absolutely brilliant to hear that. Well done. Ben in P7C for an enthusiastic attitude towards his learning. Well done, Ben. Absolutely delighted with that one. Alfie in P2W for being positive and applying himself to his tasks all week. Alfie, big air high five to you. That is amazing. Well done. This one's for a whole class from Mr Solomon to everyone in P5B for making sure they shut down the laptops properly. Brilliant stuff. Of course, if you don't shut the lap down, laptop down properly, it makes it harder for other people to get logged on. So well done, guys. This one goes to Logan. Now that is Logan P for an outstanding athletics performance of Monday and Thursday. Well done, Logan. This one goes to Emily in P7DS for being kind and respectful and always giving 100%. You are a star. 
I stopped myself from singing a song there, Emily. You are a star. Oh, I couldn't resist. Well done, Emily. Elsa and P5B for being kind, caring and polite. Elsa, you've made my heart happy. Well done. To Paul for being a fantastic role model and showing all the listening rules and nurture. Paul, that is absolutely brilliant. Well done. Faith and P4B for being a fantastic listener, challenging herself and working well independently. Faith, that is exactly the sort of thing that I want to hear. Well done. And Holly and P4D for always giving 100% and being ready to help her peers. Well done, Holly. That's such a good award. Really proud of you. Well done. Warren and P6M for always having a fantastic attitude in all aspects of his learning. Well done. Delighted to see that, Warren. Absolutely well done. Hamza and P6S for applying himself to a task and a good effort in ICT this week. So that one's from Mr. Solomon. Well done, Hamza. Really proud of you. Same one goes to Ryan in P6S for applying himself to a task and a good effort in ICT this week. Well done, Ryan. Exactly the same one goes to Shane. Wow, primary 6S have been busy in ICT this week. Well done, Shane. Lewis in P7C. Lewis, you've had a good week. Applying himself to tasks and a good effort in ICT this week. Another one for Mr. Solomon. Mr. Solomon, you've been busy this week. Harper in P1G for showing enthusiasm towards learning and sharing her successes with others. Absolutely delighted, Harper. And also, Harper, every single morning, you're Always ready to say good morning, and it's lovely. Well done, toots. Archie and P3SP for describing an image really well using lots of sentences and wow words. Well done, Archie. That is great news. And that's us done for stars of the week this week. And in fact, that is us done for assembly this week. So thanks very much, guys. I hope you have a safe and a lovely weekend and next week our assembly is going to be on something called global citizenship so let's see what next week's all about you take care be safe and we'll see you on monday bye guys see you next week guys